welcome back in this video i'm going to show you about the basics of r programming software so let me go ahead and start r program from here the basic window you get is the console so you can do basic operations in this window itself i go ahead and click on file new script and separate it like this this is the way i usually work so the script the text you see here that i highlighted is tells you about the warranty information uh, the version of the software is 2.15.3 is probably outdated by now when you are viewing this video so when you download get the latest version uh, this window on the left is the r console the right hand side is the r editor in the file inside the control we have these commands file edit miscellaneous packages windows and help and the ones that you frequently use are the install packages from local zip files that is when you download any package you will go to, you will use this option to install any package we will see that eventually but uh, this, the most uh, frequently used ones are load package when you click on that uh, you should see a pop up coming up yep these are the install packages that are already installed so the popular packages I use are mass, cluster, uh, forecast should be around here not yet um, I haven't loaded yet I guess so these are you can just click on one of them and click ok to load the package control L so I do a control L here your console is clear so this is new open R source code you can run loading the history saving history changing the working directory you don't need to worry about all these so I'll show you by how to do it by code we don't need to worry about it mm, that's pretty much it so let's get on so I have two options to type my code one is I can type the code directly into my console over here say I want to assign a variable a assign a value 2 to variable a I just do this assign 2 to a so if I type a it shows 2 what does this mean here what is the symbol this is the symbol equivalent of equal to in R that is assign put 2 in a say I do this a I can also write the same thing like this 2 in a it also does the same thing 3 in a it also does the same thing a holds 3 so pretty much it is the same as using a is equal to say 52 right got that right so this is how you assign values or write equations in R so let me clear the screen again the other way to use say you want to big, uh, build a huge script a big script that uh, you cannot keep on typing by hand you want to run the entire script in one go to do that let me write a couple of is equal to the the value of 3 c the value of 12 and in d i store a b plus C. So we have four lines of code in this. I can either write this in one go, yes, I mean one by one in our console, or I could run this, run everything, all the four commands in one go. So how do I do that? I can either go to, I can click on edit and do a run all. So I will do that. Now if you see, B holds three d holes right so that's one way to do it and another option is let me remove the variables i'm removing the variables in my environment um, another option is i just select the line which i want to run and do a control r control r does only that control r only the portion of the text that i have selected so a holds 2 what's that and b b does not exist so that's how it works 
So these are the three main things that you need to know. That pretty much covers how a typical R program is run. I'll meet you in the next video.